Okay, I'm going to work through another couple of examples looking at solids of revolution and we're just going to be rotating about the x-axis uh, in this video. Uh, there is another video after this that's going to be looking at rotating around the y-axis and how that changes things slightly. So, my first example is going to be pretty basic. Um, what we have here is a graph of y equals x squared in the positive x axis, okay? Um, and I've labelled a region between the curve and the x axis as r, between x is 1 and x is 2. And what we're going to do is rotate that area about the, y, about the x axis, okay? So it creates um, some form of shape that would look something like this. Okay? So kind of like, um, you know, this would be obviously on its side, because it would look something like uh, this. Okay? Um, kind of like a volcano shape, I guess. Um, so, in order to do this, remember, using the formula that we have, the volume would be given by pi r squared. But this time the r is, well, it's pi y squared, rather, and the y is given by x squared. So, y is x squared, and y squared would then be x squared squared. So this is between 1 and 2. So this is coming from the volume being uh, pi y squared dx between a and b. Okay? On the x-axis. So obviously x squared squared is x to the 4, so we can write that like so. Then we can actually do some integrating. That's one of the key uh, mistakes that a lot of students make, is that we manage to put it into the integral and then forget to integrate, which you know, it seems surprising. So the pi is on the outside. Uh, we can add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, evaluated between 1 and 2. So get pi lots of 2 to the 5 over 5 take away one fifth, so two to the five, 32, uh, take away one is 31, so that's 31 fifths pi, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, yeah, okay, so 31 over 5 pi, and that is the exact volume that is given here, okay, so let's look at another couple of examples, um, well, another example, I'm not going to go through two, um, and let's say this time I've got um, let's say I've got the curve given by um, y equals the square root of 1 plus x over x and we're going to be integrating that or evaluating between 1 and 4. Okay? So, uh, well, in this case, I'm not, I haven't got the actual graph. Uh, 9 times out of 10 on the exam, you would be given a sketch of the curve to look at. That doesn't really make any difference for us in the algebraic way because ultimately I just want you to make sure you know exactly what you need to use in order to rotate this about the x-axis. So we'll be using this uh, volume is pi y squared dx between a and b for the x-axis. So the volume is equal to pi times the integral between 1 and 4 of the square root of 1 plus x over x, that's y, and squared 
we'll get rid of the square root sign. Ooh, don't know why I wrote two. Okay, now before we can integrate, and we've just got to make sure that we rewrite this as a um, a x to the p plus b x to the q. So we can break apart that fraction and write it as 1 over x, so x to the minus 1 plus x over x, that's 1. Now we're ready to integrate. Doing too well here. Okay, so x to the minus 1, 1 over x integrates to log x. Uh, 1 integrates to x, evaluated between 1 and 4. So we've got pi lots of uh, log 4 plus 4, take away log of 1 plus 1. Now log of 1 is just 0, so we get pi lots of log 4, 4 take away 1 is 3. So in exact form, this is the volume of the integral, okay? This uh, pi lots of log 4 plus 3. So a lot of the questions that you'll get um, when you're rotating about the x-axis will be looking straight at um, y is equal to the square root of something. Square root of something that looks, uh, and the integral itself could look particularly nasty. But once the square root and the squared cancel each other out, it usually becomes something quite nice and straightforward that we can deal with. You can have questions that include uh, integration by parts at this point. There's no reason why they couldn't. Okay, so um, keep your eyes open for those.